السلام علیکم ویورس ہاؤ بیٹا آج ہمارا جو ٹاپک ہے وہ ہے سینٹینس میں نے ابھی پچھلے اپنے لیکچرس میں گرامر شروع کی ہے بائی دا گریس آف آل مائی اللہ آئی ہیو اسٹارٹ گرامر فرام دی انیشیل پوائنٹ اینڈ دا بیسک آف دی گرامر وی ہیو آلریڈی آئی ہیو آلریڈی اپلوڈیڈ دا ویڈیو آف گرامر فرام دی انیشیل بیسز فرام دی آئی اسٹارٹیڈ فرام دی لیٹرس alphabets words and uh, acronyms and as well as uh, the short form of the word and abbreviation but today my topic is sentence what is a sentence to understand what is a sentence so beta it has been defined in many books in different books a sentence is called a group of words having a subject and predicate gives a complete sense or meaning that is called a sentence to understand a sentence we will have to understand first what is a subject and predicate suppose i write here a sentence look and try to understand if i said i p l a y I play H O C K E Y hockey. I play hockey. I play hockey. I use here as a doer of an action. D O E R doer of an action because it does an act what act it does it does an act to play so play is used here as a v e r v verb and hockey what is a hockey if we see so it look like a uh, object of course it's an object but it's a noun but it's an object o b j e c d object doer on of action verb and subject so my dear it is a complete meaning or sense i play hockey it gives a complete meaning or complete sense that is why we can say it is a sentence but the fragments of a sentence the parts of a sentence what things are essential to create a sentence so look first is a subject what is a subject there are many confusions about the subject somebody says doer of an action is a subject suppose if we suppose this if doer of an action is a subject so if we will follow this same same examples how can we say here and what we can say what is this suppose i write she is a doctor she is a doctor it also a complete sentence but my topic is here according to my sense or my topic the sentence but to complete a sentence what are the uh, ingredients or we can say what are the parts required in a sentence so first i said a subject look at here she so if we say that doer of an action is a subject if we say a doer of an action is a subject so my dear so here the word she is it a doer of an action there is no action is is not an action is used here as a linking verb or a state verb linking verb because is joins the connections of she to a doctor it shows the status of the person so she is a doctor so she use he was here as a subject so what is a subject the so subject means here 
the talking about in a sentence talking about whether it is a person talking about whether it is a thing whatever the thing that is talking about in a sentence is called a subject suppose if i write here aslam a s l a m aslam looks l double o k p aslam looks happy h a double p y happy it also a complete sentence it is also a complete sentence but look at here aslam here does not a doer of an action or neither it is an agent it is a subject because we are talking about aslam in a sentence and aslam looks happy looks again use here as a linking verb it does not an action verb so here aslam does not do any action so how can we say a doer of an action is called a subject so my dear actually doer of an action is not a subject it just come in place of a subject as a subject sometime it may be a subject but actually doer of an action is called doer of an action is called here agent a g e n t agent do you understand what is agent so doer of an action who does an action it's called doer of an action actually it is an agent agent can be comes as a subject agent can comes as a subject so my dear i use here as a subject and she use here as a subject and aslam use here as a subject but actually i here here as an agent because it does an action doer of an action but this definitions doer of an action doer of an action is not only a subject actually it is an agent it comes as a subject okay sometimes but we can say it's not a real subject talking about the person actually it is a subject we are talking about i to who plays hockey answer is i so we can say in other form the word in a talking about a subject which answer of w h a t what or w h o who the the thing which gives the answer of these two thing that is called subject if i say i play hockey so my dear i play hockey i is a subject why oh, i is a door of an action so it is said who play hockey i play hockey it's a door of an action okay and we are talking about hockey as well so look at here which answer what or who that call a subject but for the time being we can say it is a subject doer of an action can be a subject but look at here only doer of an action is not a subject okay because she she is not a doer of an action here but we are talking about she is a doctor so who is a doctor so answer of who is a subject she so she is a doctor so we can say okay, she is a doctor so it answers of who that is why we can say the subject and aslam looks happy so who looks happy aslam looks happy so we can say it is also a subject so i was telling you what is the sentence so sentence the first part of a sentence is a subject i think so you have understood about a subject what is a subject if we say if we say it is my book it is my book so what is a subject here it is my book my dear here we can say the book my book we are talking about 
talking about the thing that is called a subject. We are here talking about the book. So what it means it is my book. So here my book is also a subject. It's not an object. So come to the point. What is a sentence? So if we have a subject, verb, or any object or any relative thing, suppose complement, maybe there would be adverbial. So this is also called a sentence. My dear, what is a sentence? Listen, if we remove, if we remove in a sentence only subject, so the remaining part, if we remove the subject from or door of an action or a subject, we remove from a sentence, the remaining part of a sentence is called P-R-E-D, ready, C-A-T, predicate. What is a predicate now? Yeah, so predicate contains a verb or the related or relative words are how relate relations of this word. This is called predicate. Predicate means we you we remove the subject from a sentence. The remaining part is called a predicate. So what the things are including in predicate? So look at here. The predicate, in predicate, P-R-E-D-I-C-A-T-E, -E, predicate. In predicate, it may be. It, there would be verb. There would be object. There would be complement. Complement. And there would be complement and as well as there would be an adverbial. There would be an adverbial. Adverbial. So, but there is no subject. So, if there is no subject and the remaining part, the remaining part when we remove a subject that is called predicate. So a sentence has two parts, subject and predicate. Predicate, I have already mentioned you, if we remove a subject or a doer of an action from a sentence, the remaining part is called a predicate. And predicate can be consistent. What thing can be consistent in a predicate so, my dear, in a predicate, there may be a verb, object, maybe complement, or maybe adverbial. So, look at the example over here. So, here, she is a doctor. She, if we remove she from here, if we remove she from here, so you can see the sentence, is a doctor is a doctor so it is a verb whether it is a linking verb or any helping verb whether it is any action verb but there may be a verb and a doctor so a doctor it is an it is a complement so what is a complement i will just mention you it is not an object Inshallah, I will let you know difference between a subject, uh, means complement, object, complement and adverbial in my last class. But today I want to mention you here, a sentence is a group of words having a subject and predicate gives a complete meaning or sense is called a sentence. In sentence, there are many in sentence, there are many fragments of a sentence parts such as a door of an action, subject, verb, object, and complement and adverbial may be found in a sentence. But my dear, to comprehend to a subject, object, and complement, so please 
uh, wait and keep my next video in my next video inshallah i will try my level best to explain what is an object complement and adverbial but here i just mentioned the little bit concept of a sentence a sentence contains of uh, contains a door of an action may be a subject or predicate or gives a complete sense of meaning if i write here if i write here in the r o m room you can say sir it's also it is also a group of words but it is not a sentence my dear in my previous lecture you can see it is not a sentence it is a phrase because it does not have a subject and a predicate and does not give a complete sense or meaning that is why it's not a sentence if you want to make is a sentence so you can write here suppose she is in the room she is in the room now she use here as a subject and is used here as a verb and it is now it is adverbial it is neither a complement nor an object okay it is an adverbial she used here as a state verb or a linking verb but is is used here as a state verb linking verb or she is used here as a subject because we are talking about she Okay, where is she? So when we are talking about where is she, so she is used as a subject or we can say, sorry, where is she? So she is in the room. So it is adverbial in the room, in the room adverb of place. That is why it is adverbial of place. So we can say it is a, a phrase of adverb, adverbial phrase. But if we say who is in the room, so answer of who is a subject. As I have already mentioned so here, the man means who give the meaning of the word who that is called a subject or what. It is also the giving the meaning of subject. I think so you can, you have understood what is a sentence but it is not a complete over here just i have given you only the one concept of a sentence sentence contains a subject and a predicate this is the concept which i wanted to share to my viewers and my uh, upcoming generations so i think so you have liked it and if you like it so please like i mean say share it to others so that this message can be conveyed the person who cannot avail the lecture face to face or the live they can see on a youtube and please subscribe and like it thank you so much inshallah we'll meet in the next lecture with the explanations of verb, object, complement and adverbial. Then we, I'll come again on the sentence. Then I'll mention inshallah the kinds of a sentence and the types of a sentence. There are, I'm just going to give you, there are two big types of a sentence. One is functional and the second one is here means structural functional and structures inshallah i will mention in my next lecture thank you so much for watching my video allah hafiz will meet you inshallah next lecture thank you